So I am Jennifer White and I am a Spanish teacher in Alabama. For those that don't know me, I am married to Reynaldo White, who is an Afro Panameño and I have five kids. So um, yeah, they, five kids, it's a lot, but it's okay, they keep me busy. So I love teaching and I love connecting with parents and teachers. So if you happen to be a parent and you're watching, please shout out to any parents. Uh, if you're a teacher, shout out to all the teachers, especially my Spanish teacher friends out there. Shout out to you. If any of you are here, say hola. Good to meet you. Good to see you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Just remember that this video is made, is going to, is a presentation that's specifically made for kids. Very simple to the point. Okay. So you can give me feedback, you can give comments and everything, but when I edit this video, it's gonna, I'm gonna remove all this front part of it, and you're welcome to share it with your, your students or with any children, your children, whoever you know, you can share it. It's gonna be awesome. This video also, I'm preparing us the same video, but it's gonna be in Espanol. So if you have a class that speaks Spanish or they're learning Spanish or kids that don't speak English, they can learn from this video, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Yes, okay, so um, this is who are Afro Latinos? And the reason why we ask that question is because some people don't know what Afro Latinos are. And let me tell you that about seven or eight years ago, I didn't even know I was an Afro Latina. So I used to identify as just, you know, Dominican. And every time they had that box of race, I used to just scratch it off and say, no, I'm Dominican. And that's how I felt. Uh, but then, it, you know, I just saw, saw a documentary of um, Dr. Henry Louis Gates. And it was called, excuse me, Black in Latin America. And it was uh, Mexico and Peru, the grandmother in the closet. I saw that for the first time. And I cried because it was a little girl in that, in that segment that had her skin color was just like mine so i and then he asked her he says it is negra and she's like yeah and i'm like what you're negra wait i thought you were brown so that's when it hit me like a ton of bricks like wait a minute why why do i say i'm brown my my granddad's really dark so then i started realizing okay you know what i'm black that's the race the race that I am is black and, and especially living in the United States where you have to check a box. There's either black, white, Hispanic, and then they tell you Hispanics, all kinds of people, all kinds of other people there in categories, but never wanted to check that race box until seven years ago when I said, I'm black, I'm going to go ahead and check the race box and I'm going to check the ethnicity box. And there are boxes like there, like that. And those boxes come out in different applications when you fill out an application for something or when you're trying to get your driver's license, something like that. Usually you got to check if you're black or white or whatever ethnicity you are. So it doesn't matter if you don't want to check it off, you don't have to, but it's there. So when it was in my face so much, I just just had to check it off, so I did that. But anyway, so let me explain to you who are Afro Latinos, all right? Can you tell from this picture who is an Afro Latino? Who do you think is an Afro Latino in the, on this page and who is not? Who do you think is and who is not? And let me hide this right here. Um, remember, if you wanna give your name, you can go ahead and tell StreamYard that you're giving them permission to use your name on this live stream or on this video. So that would be great. Okay, so so do you think, have you chosen one? Hmm, do you think that guy on the top, is he Afro Latino? See, he has some drums. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Okay, how about Mariah Carey? She's very famous. Do you think um, she's an Afro Latina? Huh. How about that guy over there on the, the right? Uh, his name is Miguel. Do you think he's an Afro Latino? I don't know. You think about it. You tell me. But, uh, but the answer to this is that they are all Afro Latinos, all of them on this page. And I wanted to show you 
um, these different people because there's a variety of Afro-Latinos and Mariah Carey is a mixed race individual and she is uh, part African-American so and part Venezuelan. So this is why she ends up in that category and I'll explain it in a minute. And I happen to be an Afro-Latina. Let me show you. I hope you can see this okay. So uh, my husband bought me this uh, DNA thing a while ago and I have to put my spit in the thing and it was weird. But hey, these results came back and I was astonished. Now I'm originally from the Dominican Republic and my grandparents are from there. My parents, like that's it. They're all from there. Everybody from how, as far as I can remember are all from the Dominican Republic. And when I got these results back, I got, I said, what, how is it possible that I'm from 11 African countries? That means that I'm 63% African. Then from Europe, I'm 29% European. And Latin America, I'm only 6%, knowing that I was born in the Dominican Republic. Actually, the accurate percentage of Dominican that I have is 3%. I'm actually mixed with Mexican and, um, and what it says here, Colombia and Venezuela. Yes, and some indigenous of the Americas. So, yes, that was very different. You're like, why? why? How could you be 3% Dominican and you were born in the Dominican Republic? But it's because Dominicans are mixed with so many things as well. And we have originally, um, we came from these, these people called the Taino, Taino people. And they were inhabiting the island of Hispaniola in Puerto Rico and Cuba. And then they were just, um, they got really sick from smallpox. So because of that, um, there were not many. Taino people left. So there was just a little tiny bit. So that's why that tiny bit is what is giving me my 3% because those are the real natives of the island of Hispaniola. And if you don't know what Hispaniola is, that's actually a cool island that has two countries in it, Dominican Republic and Haiti. So so who are Afro-Latinos? What does Afro mean? Now, you've heard that word before, have you? You've heard this word before. The word Afro means, as a noun, it means a hairstyle, it originating with black people in which naturally curly or frizzy hair is cut into a full bushy shape all over the head, just like this beautiful lady that's on the screen. She has an Afro, but... And Afro as an adjective right here, it's actually of or relating to African Americans or to black traditions, culture, etc. So black society. So for you to say, when we say Afro Latino, Afro Indigenos, Afro, we say Afro in front of something, it has to do with black people. Okay. It has to do or relating to black people. So let's see this one. Number two, fact number two, because I'm giving you 10 fun facts. So fact number two, who are Afro-Latinos? Afro-Latinos have family and ancestors of African descent. Just like I showed you my DNA and, and I showed you my map and I came from all of African countries. Then if you're an Afro-Latino, the Afro in front of there means that you most likely came from somewhere in Africa, your ancestors came from somewhere in Africa or your immediate family came from an African-American or Africa, anything related to Africa. So this is why it's called an Afro-Latino. All right, let's go next. Oh, and this is a wonderful map of Africa. Just wanted to let you know what Africa looked like. Africa is humongous and it has so many different types of people and tribes and, and, uh, country. So Africa is not a country. Africa is a continent that has many, many countries in it. Africa is a very, very special place. And a lot of people don't know how special it is. Okay. So numero tres, number three, blacks in Latin America. So Latin Americans who are Afro-Latinos, Afro-Latinos are people who are Latin American or, or consider themselves Hispanics who are black or they look black. 
Okay, so like people on this picture right here, right here. If you see somebody that's black and they're speaking Spanish, most likely they're Afro Latino, but sometimes they're African American because a lot of African Americans speak different languages as well. So you just have to be careful. And you have to also check their accents. Sometimes they have different accents and you could tell, some people can tell. I can't really tell all the time, but some people could tell what country they're from. Like I can tell when a Dominican is talking. Yeah, but Dominicans talking and they're going like this. They're using their hands and they're talking fast. Then that's a Dominican, all right? But like I said, anybody who grew up in the Dominican Republic, any color could look Dominican, right? So Latin Americans that are black, they look black, are Afro-Latinos. All right, that's our fun fact number three. Next one, fun fact number four, Latin American black people in the U.S. So there are Afro-Latinos who were born of parents who were from another country, from Latin America. And they were born here in the United States. So as they were born in the United States, they carry that, what their parents carry. So if there is a mom that's Panamanian and she's Afro-Panamanian, then the kids will come out Afro-Panamanian too. So there are many people who are the children of Afro-Latinos who live in the United States. And there are also many who came from their country to the United States. And this is where they call home. So I came from the Dominican Republic and I ended up living here in the United States. And, but I, I was originally born in the Dominican Republic. But my children are considered or they consider themselves Afro-Latinos, even though they never lived in Panama or the Dominican Republic, they consider themselves Afro-Latinos. They're black and they speak Spanish. Or they don't speak Spanish that great, but, but they, you know what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> number five, Afro-Latinos are not recognized. That's a, it's not a fun fact, it's just a fact, okay? In many places, Afro-Latinos are not recognized as being Latinos. They are normally seen as African-Americans because of this, there can be confusion with understanding the culture. So a lot of times, you know, I'm going to tell you a quick story about my husband who was trying to get his driver's license in Alabama. So he went to get his driver's license and on the driver's license, I told you that everybody has a category. Well, his category was H, which means Hispanic and Hispanic means a Latin America Latin American in the United States. So he had an H in his driver's license, right? And the lady changed the H to a B. And when you put B here in the U.S., that means that you're African American. So he said nicely, hey, can you put the H because I'm Hispanic, you know? Can you put that on? And she's like, no, you're black. And he's like, I know I'm black, but um, my ethnicity is Hispanic. And I'd rather put my ethnicity instead of my race. And she's like, no, 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 you're black. And he's like, I just, can you do what I wish? Because I'm paying for my license. And she said, well, you need to prove that you're Hispanic. So you need to go get your birth certificate. So he had to go get his birth certificate at the house. And when he got the birth certificate and gave it to the lady, guess what the lady said? The lady said, I can't understand this. This is in Spanish. You're like, yeah, because I'm a Latino, I'm Hispanic, I'm from Panama. And the lady said, I can't understand this, go get it translated. So he had to go to Birmingham. Birmingham is like about an hour away from me. He had to go to Birmingham and translate his birth certificate so that he can prove to the lady that he was an H, that please put an H on there. So anyway, that's what happened. He had to go do that and came back and had the document officially translated. And then they could change his B into an H. She didn't think it was a big deal, but it was a big deal. It's a big deal. When they're categorizing you a certain way and you don't want to be categorized that way, it's a big deal. So this is this is the reason why um, Afro-Latinos can be, people can be confused with Afro-Latinos because they look, they look like African-Americans. And that is quite all right though. Okay, so numero seis, fact number six. Afro-Latinos can come from mixed race families. So many Afro-Latinos in the United States have one parent who's from Latin America and one parent who is from the United States. So I know lots of 
lots of Afro Latinos who, like Mariah Carey, who they have one parent that's probably African American and then one parent that's probably from Puerto Rico or from any other country or even Spain, wherever. But because of that mixed mixed race with black and white, black and Asian, uh, but one of them is from Latin America, then that one of them is from Latin America, one is from Latin America, one is from uh one is from um is an afro afro latino then that's what they are mixed race students miss miss mixed race kids sorry my my language today is not well number seven tip number seven many afro latinos are mistaken to not speak spanish so because afro latinos are perceived as african-american many people are surprised when they open their mouths and speak spanish though there are many afro latinos who do not speak spanish because they were never taught to speak spanish or may live with a parent who doesn't speak spanish and this is so true i um recently met one of the council women in our city and we were in a chili cook-off you know i was cooking chili and this is my first time in a competition like that yeah i was really nervous and um she cooked a really good chili so all the mexican people that came to that event they loved her chili so i said hey you know, you are the Latinos. They love your chili. And she's like, yeah, that's because I got some Latino flavor in me. And, you know, I thought she was African-American. That's how she perceives herself to be. Well, she when she said that comment that she was part Latina, I was like, oh, my gosh, you're an Afro-Latina. And then she said, well, I don't really identify as an Afro-Latina. I never have because, no, you know, my parents never taught me Spanish. And, you know, she doesn't. She doesn't have the traditions of her, her Puerto Rican side. So, so I told her she was Afro-Latina, but she didn't think about that. She didn't even know. So that can be offensive to some people. Um, I'm glad that she didn't get offended with me that day. <laughs> but it, it could be offensive if you're just saying, hey, you're an Afro-Latina. And some people do not consider themselves. She just, she just had like a realization moment like, whoa, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. So that was cool. I'm glad it went well. And I did not offend her. She didn't get mad at me. All right, so number eight, some Afro-Latinos do not identify as Afro-Latinos. There are some Black Latin Americans who may look like Afro-Latinos, but they don't consider themselves Afro-Latinos because they did not grow up in a Latin American home and do not know any customs or tradition. So that's exactly what I was saying about the councilwoman, that she doesn't consider herself she doesn't identify as an afro-latino because she doesn't identify with that latino part of herself she's considers herself an african-american and that is okay that is okay all right number nine fun fact number nine who are afro-latinos some afro-latinos do not identify as black so many Afro-Latinos do not identify as black because they rather identify with their country, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Colombian, or any nationality. So that's what they would rather say. They would rather say, I'm Dominican, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm Colombian. They rather not say they are black and they rather not say they're an afro They Well, they, they would say I'm an Afro-Latino, but they won't say that they're black. So just like Big Papi here, he considers himself Dominican. And he says Afro-Latino, but he is not Black. He is Dominican. So there's people that feel that way, and that is okay, too. All right? So all these things are okay. We just need to know so that we're not like, oh, what? You know what I mean, right? Have you ever felt like that? Like, what? Okay, so number 10, last fact of the day. Afro-Latinos are two minorities. Afro-Latinos may be mixed-raced or, or not but they all have in common that they are double minority, black and Latino. Now check this out. Some people might be three minorities because they might be Asian in there. And, and the word minority comes because the majority of the United States is of the white race, white Caucasian race. So when we're talking about minorities, we're talking about these are the people that are not the majority. Anybody who is not the majority is the minority. Remember, the majority are white Caucasians. So this is why we're talking about that there are two minorities, black and Latino. And this is not every Afro-Latino. Okay, so my there I, I adopted two boys 
and um, Adrian and Jordan, and they happen to be white. They happen to be um, Dominican, and they happen to be Panamanian. Okay, now the Dominican and the Panamanian part are Afro Dominican and Panamanian, and the white part is just their mom. Their mom's side is is so so they have they have the double minority because they are black and Panamanian and Dominican, but they also have that white. So they get to choose every once in a while, but they really don't. They just say they're mixed, so that's cool. Or they can say they're Afro-Latinos. So anyway, that is the conclusion of our slideshow. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about who are Afro-Latinos, just remember that they are important people too. And there's somebody that you might meet. Somebody in your class might be an Afro-Latino. So don't get surprised when you see like someone of color, someone dark skin, speaking Spanish or speaking French or speaking any language. Don't be surprised because there's, there's Afro everything all over the world. All over the world. Afro-Chinese, Afro-French. There's everybody. There's Afro African descendants all over the world. So don't be surprised if you see any Afro-Latinos speaking Spanish, okay? So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, presentation. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to join me. I have a page on Facebook called Afro-Latina Teacher. Um, if there's any Spanish teachers out there, I have a page called Incorporating Afro-Latino Culture in Spanish Classrooms. You could join me there. Then I'm on Twitter called Afro-Latina Teacher. You can find me there. Also, I'm on TikTok, Afro-Latina Teacher. I think all of my handles are just Afro-Latina Teacher. So just find me. You can find me anywhere. And I'm just so glad to have you. Oh, we have a question. We have a question. This question is in Spanish. Let's see. Hola, tengo una pregunta. Esta invasión tenía, ella tiene una tía que es afro-latina, pero ella salió más como mestiza clara. Y pregunta si ella puede considerarse una afro-latina. Yo le dije que podría identificarse como afrodescendiente. ¿Qué opinas? Hmm. That's a good question. Let me, let me uh, translate this question in case there's any parents out there that don't understand in Spanish. So it says, hello, I have a question. I have a student of mine. She has an aunt who is an Afro-Latina, but she came out mixed and she's a light-skinned mixed person. And she asked, can she consider herself an Afro-Latina? And I told her that she can identify herself as an Afro-descendant. And then she says, what do you think? Ooh, she wants to know what I think. Okay, I think that she can identify as what as either. Okay, it's hard when a when a child is telling you how should I identify. Okay, it's something that she really needs to think about. Okay, not not that you can actually tell her. It's okay if you told her it's fine and she trusts you. It's fine. There are kids that have asked me. Am I Afro-Latina? And I say yes, because they happen to be dark-skinned black. But I understand when it's a student that's, or a child that's light-skinned, it's really up to the child. All right? So Afro-descendant means that she came from a legacy or descendants of Africans, or the African culture. And Afro-Latino is just a descendant of Africans, the same thing, but they're Latinos. So it depends. If you're saying you're you're an Afro descendant, you're like kind of taking away the Latino from it. So if she wants to identify like that, then it's fine. But if she's proud of her Latino heritage and she wants to identify as an Latina, then that is fine. That is fine. So I think what you told her is fine, but just let her know that if she loves that she's from the country she's from. Uh, then she can consider herself Afro-Latina too. At the end, everybody has to pick what they're going to do, what they're going to pick, what they're going to do for the rest of their lives. And they might switch later on, but it's all up to them. I've seen a lot of people that never considered themselves Afro-Latinos before. And then ever since the George Floyd movement, when Black people are popular now, they're like, oh, I'm an Afro-Latina. Yeah, I've always been. And you're like, no, girl, you never like black people. 
so you know i i just don't respect that <laughs> sometimes like okay i can understand if you realize it but you you just all this time you've been like no i'm not like that i'm not like that and then now it's like oh, oh i've always been and it's like okay you can just say that you have it like me i was like i i didn't consider myself black before because i was taught that i wasn't black and then when i realized i was i was like okay i realized i noticed now i've learned and now i know that i am okay so here we go so this person says she identifies herself as a hundred percent mexican but she's confused because she is really white oh man she needs to hear my presentation about the afro mexicans that's gonna be cool all right so if she considers herself a hundred percent mexican there is nothing wrong with that i consider myself a hundred percent dominican even though i'm not a hundred percent dominican i'm actually three percent forget that dna thing okay because i am who i am okay it's okay all right so uh just explain to her because of her aunt being um afro latina ask her to find out more about her afro descendants in the family she will be surprised to find out that there's probably more than just her aunt and is her aunt from her mom or dad's side or is this an aunt that's like married into the family uh that's something that she needs to find out um so I met, I did meet a guy that he said that he had, instead of a grandma in the closet, <laughs> he had an aunt in the closet. It was a, a aunt that was dark skin and they never mentioned her. But because of that, you know, this is why uh, we got to talk about these things because people don't know. And everybody wants to identify with a culture. Everybody wants to identify with people. And sometimes people say, I don't want to be Afro-Latina. I just want to be, um... I don't want to consider, I don't want to divide up the ethnicity because you're separating yourself. You know, you're making us seem like we're divided. But the truth is that Latin America divides us. It just does. You know, they, we look at telenovelas. I don't know if, if, if anybody out there has seen a telenovela before, but most telenovelas have majority light-skinned Latin Americans that are in those main lead parts. And then if you see a black person in there speaking Spanish, they're usually a slave or they're a witch. So it's like, what can we do? What can we do? They make, they made us separate ourselves like that. They don't put us as the beautiful people or the, the, the smart people, even though it's changing a little bit. I saw this um, telenovela called um, La Nina and it's based out of Colombia. And in that telenovela, there's one black doctor. And I was so happy. I was like, yay, one black doctor. Okay, we have another comment here. Yo la comentaré eso y me dijo que es una tía de sangre y que es el lado de su papá porque su mamá era blanca. Why did I say it? Okay, so she says she will give her the comment that I gave her because she told her that her 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 aunt is a, a aunt from her dad's side because her mom was really, really light skin from the united states so white like the united states okay that makes sense then that makes sense um but you know some kids do want to identify and then if um she's really light skin then you know sometimes it's, it's not gonna be easy for her because she's gonna say i'm afro latina and they're gonna be looking at her like what you're white why are you afro latina but she just needs to stand her ground and tell people that her family is like that eventually if enough people tell her no you're not uh, she's going to try to ad not identify as Afro-Latina. It depends how much, you know, how much, how much uh, stress she receives from calling herself that. I just know that the moment I started calling myself black, my life changed. It just changed. It was different. It was very different. Um, so, but anyway, really happy to be Afro-Latina. I'm proud of it. Proud of my hair and my, uh, my people, my parents and my family. Uh, so, if anybody else have any questions please put in the comment how did you like the presentation thank you for giving me your your heads up about how you liked it thank you so much i appreciate it uh, you telling me that you liked it if you have any questions please let me know i'm so excited to have uh roger i do want to tell you that um 
that we're going to have more of these this month. And I'm, I don't have a particular day where I'm going to have it or I'm going to post it. But I just want to let you know the next one that I'm going to be doing is for Afro Mexicanos who are Afro Mexicanos. Then I'm going to do one that says who are Afro Cubanos, right? And talk about them and their history. And it's going to be 10 fun facts, usually 10 fun facts. Okay. Then we're going to have... Um, Afro Dominicans, and I'm gonna do that one because that you know I'm from the Dominican Republic, so I have to do that one. Have to do it. Then um, we're gonna have one that a lot of kids ask this question. A lot of kids ask, why do we celebrate Black History anyway? And even though you're probably not a kid that asked that question, I've heard that question every year during Black History Month. Every year. Then I'm also gonna have a presentation called. When do we celebrate White History Month, which is something that is not talked about a lot, okay? And you're probably like, huh? There is no White History Month. Well, I'm going to explain it. So make sure you keep post, keep, keep me posted, or I'm going to keep you posted, and you follow me, and you'll know when I'm going to give that presentation. That's going to be the end of the month. The end of, of Black History Month is going to be when I post this presentation of what, when do we celebrate White History Month? Because I get this question a lot, a lot from my, from different people. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much. Oh, yay. Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I Googled that everywhere. White History Month didn't find it anywhere. Nowhere, nowhere. Looked it up in YouTube. Mm -mm, nowhere about when is White History Month. Okay, so we're going to talk about it. I can't wait to talk about that because it's going to be an interesting conversation. So thanks again. Gracias. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you for joining me today. If you like the presentation, please write on the comments. If you think that you have any questions, go ahead and write it on the comments and I will respond to you. All right. Gracias. Adios. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. See you later. <laughs>